governor also uh, issuing a new office of accountability today. Everybody's screaming at the team, where's the money going? Where's the money going? It's and, in fans. Uh, WMAR 2 News' Don Harrison tells us it would oversee local management of education money here in our state. And we will continue to fight for more accountability in local school systems. As school starts for many Marylanders Tuesday, Governor Larry Hogan expressed his displeasure with the use of Maryland local education management. Uh, and so today I am issuing an executive order which will establish the Office of Education Accountability, an independent watchdog unit. Governor Hogan proposed an investigator general to overlook education spending during the past legislative session, but the General Assembly voted that down. Hogan cited mold problems in Howard County, administrators jailed in Baltimore County, and grade fixing problems in Prince George's County as examples of a broken school system. This isn't about politics. This is about our kids and their futures. It's about giving every Maryland child the hope for a better future and the opportunities that they deserve. The Office of Education Accountability Director will be Valerie Verdomsky. Some of the responsibilities of this office will be to establish an electronic tip system to report concerns about Maryland public schools and maintain a database to track those concerns and their resolution. The reality is those school systems are... Delegate to... Eric Lutke, a Democrat, has often challenged Hogan on education. That he has people working for him who are responsible for already doing these things. So this is a bunch of window dressing. This is much ado about nothing new. Hogan says this new office will be paid by existing budgetary monies. In Annapolis, Don Harrison, WMAR 2 News.